Hello everyone, welcome to today's workout. Today we're gonna to go through an isometric hold routine. So what an isometric contraction is, is the muscle working without actually lengthening or shortening. So if we think of something like a bicep curl, where we go up and then back down, in the isometric holds, we're just gonna hold at the most difficult position. So for the bicep curl, might be here in the middle. As we go through the warm up, we're gonna start this routine doing an isometric hold followed by a couple of repetitions. So let's start right with our calf raise. We get an idea of how this is gonna work today. The isometric hold in our calf raise, we're gonna go up onto your toes with your feet about hip width. Go ahead and begin this with me. So the feet are about hip width, you're high on your toes, as high as you can get comfortably, balanced here, squeezing the back of your calves. Each of the isometric holds today, we're gonna to do for about 20 seconds. We've got about 10 seconds left on this calf raise. So again, those heels are up nice and high, squeezing the back of the calves. You should really feel that work coming through the back of the legs or even the foot, going for three, two, and now we're gonna go into calf raises. So we go down, Heels touch the ground and right back up. We're going to do this for 20 repetitions. Here's two, down, heels touch, and then right back up onto those toes. Three, four, you can go at your own pace or follow along here with me. So again, each of the isometric contractions that we do today will last about 20 seconds, followed by about 10 to 20 repetitions of work through that same movement. Now the isometric contractions are really going to help with the weakest points of your movement. So in the push-up, think about the bottom part, right? That's usually the toughest part for most of us. Continuing through these calf raises, I've got about six reps left here. Here we go. Six. You should really feel that burn coming in the back of the legs. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right, go ahead to the edge of your mat. We're going to go into our downward dog. We're going to hold that isometric hold for 20 seconds, and then we're going to use some repetitions to work those muscles. So we're going to go ahead and walk out into your high plank position. Start to arch your lower back as you push your hips up and back. Push your heels down. So go ahead and meet me here. Try to get those heels down as best you can while also maintaining that arch in your lower back. Feeling that stretch, climb up the calves that we just worked as you pull those heels down to the ground. You should also feel this stretch climbing right up those hamstrings. 10 more seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now come back into your high plank position. From here, we're gonna go into our three-legged downward dog. So I'm gonna lift my right heel up as I push my left heel down. We come back to plank and we switch. We're doing that for 10 repetitions. Let's go ahead through together. So high plank, left heel down, right heel up. Feel that stretch climb up the left leg and we switch. You wanna inhale as you come into plank and exhale as we go up into that three-legged downward dog. Pushing through the arms, planting yourself in your heel so you feel that nice stretch. We're gonna go through four more here. Here we go. So as one heel touches the ground, the other one kicks up, keeping those legs nice and straight. Two more reps. And last one here. All right, we can go ahead and walk that all the way up. And now the third exercise in our warm up today, we're gonna to go through a split leg lunge. So you're gonna step up with your right leg pretty much as far as you can, almost the length of your mat. From here, keeping the left leg straight, start to drop your hips down into the right heel. So I've got most of the weight in the right heel and in my right glute. From here, we're holding for 20 seconds. Keep your upper back nice and tall, head back. That shin should be mostly vertical in the front, so it shouldn't be too far back. Again, holding for a total of 20 seconds. We're gonna go 10 seconds longer here. If you're having trouble with balance, a good cue is to kind of hug your inner thighs together. Keep yourself centered here. Five, four, three, two. Now we're going to go right into repetitions by pushing backwards, straightening the front leg, and then coming forward. This is our split leg rock. 
All right, continuing through this for about 10 reps. So we've got the weight in the front heel, the knee pushes forward, and then we push it straight back, kind of rocking onto that back heel. Keeping that split leg position, keeping most of the weight in the front heel at the bottom, and then pressing through the heel to press away. Going through about 10 reps. Now if you find you need to hold on to something today for the balance exercises, go ahead and do so. Maybe a tall foam roller or the wall next to you. I'm going to go two more reps here. And one more rep down. Pressing up, straightening that front leg. We're going to go ahead and switch legs now. So we've got that left leg coming forward. Right leg is back. Keeping the right leg as straight as you can, start to drop your hips into that front heel. So in this case, it's the left heel. Holding this for 20 seconds. So again, kind of hugging those inner thighs together, making sure that front shin is mostly vertical here, straight up and down. 10 more seconds in this hole. Upper back tall, nice breathing pattern. Five, four, three, and we go right into those reps. So we press through the left heel, press up and back, let the right heel drop, come right back down and right back up. Just warming up the muscles here, warming up your stabilizers in your legs. Here's three, going to 10 reps. Four, five, six, seven, eight, last two, nine, last one. All right, go ahead and shake that out. Body should feel pretty warmed up now. And we're gonna go through our first circuit. So we're gonna start with the single leg RDL. Follow me through this if you can. So I'm gonna stand on my left leg, bringing my right leg up as I push my hips back, sitting into that left heel. Ideally, your body is gonna become parallel with the ground. We're gonna hold this position for 20 seconds. Go ahead and start with me. Again, if you have to hold on to something, that's fine. All right, so I'm keeping my right leg pinned straight. My back is arched. That right hip, I'm keeping it low, sitting it into the left heel. So we feel the glute and the hamstring working on that left side. We've got about seven seconds left here. Six, five, four, three. Now we're gonna go right into repetition. So go ahead, stand up, and then right back into that single leg RDL and stand it back up. Now that isometric hold we just did was in the weakest position, right? That bottom position is really tough to balance and hold. We're really going to challenge those weak points of our movements today, just like we're doing here. Again, about 10 RDLs. Let's get five more. So there's a slight bend in the knee on the standing leg as we push the hips back. And then think about pushing your foot into the ground as you stand up tall. Going for three more. And one more. Definitely feeling this in all of your stabilizers from the bottom of your foot all the way up that leg from everything we've done so far. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So now I'm standing on my right leg, keeping my left leg as straight as I can. I'm gonna push it up and push my hips back, sitting into my right heel this time. Trying to get my body pretty much parallel to the ground keeping everything as in line with my spine as I can. Core is tucked in, neck is long. We're holding for 20 seconds. You've got 15 left. Think about pushing your foot into the ground. Again, this is an isometric contraction. We're contracting the muscle without lengthening or shortening it. And again, today we're gonna do it in the weakest part of the movement pattern. Five, four, three, two, and stand up. Here we go, 10 repetitions. Push those hips back, sit into that right heel, push the foot into the ground, stand up, catch your balance. If you need to take a step and put your foot down between each rep, that's fine as well. And again, even if you need to hold on to something, that's okay as well. I just want to make sure you feel this coming through your hip hinge, utilizing those hamstrings and glutes, not your lower back to do the work here. Continuing to breathe through. I'm gonna go for five more. Pushing those hips back, pushing that straight leg up as high as you can get it, pressing your foot into the ground to stand up. 
Two more. And last one here. All right, couldn't shake that out. Next, we're gonna go into our push-up position. So we're gonna go on the ground. Now you can either do the full push-up or just the high plank with shoulder taps. Let me show you both modifications. So the harder version, we're gonna go to a bottom of the push-up. We're gonna hold for 20 seconds. Right from there, we're gonna bust out 10 repetitions. Now, there's two other modifications. You can either do that from your knees, so we have the knees tucked, pelvis tucked, glutes tight, come down, hold for 20, and then press through the 10 reps. Or, the easiest version, still difficult though, is our shoulder tap. So you hold this high plank for 20 seconds, and then begin to shoulder tap for 10 reps. Choose which version is best for you. I'm gonna go ahead right into that advanced one. Come with me if you can. So going into a bottom of the push-up. Ready? Down and hold. 20 second hold. Big deep breaths. Shoulders are back. Legs are tight. Core is tight. Arms are gripping the ground. 10 seconds. You've got it. You're becoming mighty. Let's do it. Five, four, three, two. Press up if you can. Bust out 10 reps. That was one. Two, three, you've got it. Work through as best you can. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You can go ahead and stand that right back up. I hope you found that challenging. Nice little upper body burn. Again, working through the weakest point of the movement pattern in that push up, which in this case is the bottom position for that isometric hold. We're gonna go through each exercise again. So we have the single leg RDL, and then we've got those push-ups. Let's begin. So we're on that left leg. We're gonna drive that right leg up, holding for 20 seconds here. 19, 18. Try to get your body as parallel to the ground as you can. Pushing your foot in the ground, keeping the leg nice and tight, holding on to something if you need it. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, and stand up. Continue for 10 reps on that side. Here we go. One. So sitting into the hip on the left side as we push those hips back. Slight bend in your knee. So that shin remains vertical on the left side. Pushing that right leg up as straight as you can. I'm gonna go for three more on this side. And last one. All right, go right onto the other foot, in this case, the right foot. Big deep breaths to start, long inhale. Exhale as you go in position. And we're gonna hold. So now we got the left leg nice and straight. Make sure that left hip stays low so the hips are parallel to the ground. Body is nice and long, sitting into that right heel. Here we go, 13, 12, 11, 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and stand up and continue through 10 reps. Try not to let your eyes wander, right? Try to pick something on the ground, but five or six feet in front of you that's not moving. So don't look at your dog or your cat. And try not to look at the camera once you get the movement down. You want to keep your neck nice and straight. I'm going to go for four more here. And last one. All right, go ahead, shake that out. Take a little bit of a rest. Getting back down into our push up here. So again, you got three versions. This time I'm gonna show you the easiest to the most difficult. So the easiest version would be holding the high plank for 20 seconds and then moving into those shoulder taps. Your next version is from your knees, right? Pelvis tucked, legs tight, down hold above the ground for 20, and then we'll bust out those repetitions. Otherwise, if you're starting that harder version in the full push-up, we're gonna go for 10 to 20 reps. 
after the 20 second hold. You can really challenge yourself here. Ready, set, and go. Bottom position, hold for 20. Body's nice and tight. Relax your breathing. Inhale through your nose. Big forceful exhale through your mouth. 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, here we go. Repetitions. One, go 10 to 20. Two, three, It's okay to rest at the top and then continue to bust out some more or change to your knees if you need to. Twenty and done. Go ahead and rest for about twenty seconds. Shake up those arms. We're gonna go into our next circuit. We're gonna stay right on the ground. So you can lay on your back. I encourage you to just lay there, take like two or three big deep breaths. All right, so for our next movement, we're going into a single leg hip bridge with the isometric contraction at the top. So we're gonna pull the left knee up, tuck your right foot in close to the right glute. From here, we're gonna press the right foot into the ground, pushing your hips up, Holding at the top for 20 seconds. Go ahead and begin with me. Now as you press up, once you get to the top, make sure those hips are parallel. So the left knee is up right now. Don't let that left hip sink. Right, keep pushing the left hip up. As you squeeze the right glute, pushing the right part of the hip up. 10 seconds left. Seven, six, five, four, Three, two, go ahead and bring those hips down, and then repetitions for 10. Hips up, squeeze the right glute. Down, right back up. This is two, and three, really tightening, toning those glutes and hamstrings, the back of the leg there. Core is tucked in, shoulders and head are relaxed. Feeling that burn come right through the hamstrings. I'm going two more here. Last repetition on that side. Shake that out, we're going to the other side. So in this case now, I'm bringing my right knee up. My left foot is close to my left glute. From here, we're gonna hip bridge up, pushing the left foot in the ground, squeezing those glutes at the top, holding for 20 seconds. Again, keeping those hips parallel. It's usually a good idea to slightly push that right hip up and then drive that left hip up. So that leg that's hanging out up top doesn't cause the weight to sink on one side. Here we go. Six, five, four, three, two. Coming down and right back up into hip bridges. 10 reps on this side as well. Inhale down, big exhale up. Try to get those hips as high as you can. Two more, and last one. All right, go ahead and shake this up. Now this next exercise is for your upper back, really for our posture in the thoracic or the mid part of the spine so we can sit up tall. This exercise is difficult. It may give some of you neck pain. So let's watch out for the modification. So we're gonna lay on the ground in our hip bridge position. So both feet are tucked in. You're gonna take your fists, make them nice and tight, by your side, putting your elbows down on the ground. Watch me do a couple here. These are called our scapula wings. From here, we're gonna press the upper body up, hold it for 20 seconds, pushing the elbows into the ground, squeezing the shoulder blades back. Now, if that looks like it's gonna bother your neck or be too difficult, all I want you to do is go over to a wall, stand next to it, take your fists nice and tight by your side, take your elbows, push them into the wall, with your chest up, tall and proud. And you should feel that isometric contraction in your upper back. All right, otherwise we're back down on the ground, going into that scapula wing. So we're gonna take those elbows, 
Put them off of your body, not too wide, just so you can fit like one hand between your armpit and torso. From here, we're gonna drive the chest up by pushing the elbows into the ground. Adjust your position if you need to. And just squeeze the upper back nice and tight. Keeping the chest nice and tall, relax your head back. Squeeze your arms, push those elbows into the ground, and squeeze those shoulder blades together. 10 more seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. You might feel that opening up your chest after the push-ups. that's a great thing. Now we're gonna go ahead right back down, and then up and down in repetitions for 10. So don't over crunch your core and do a sit-up, just push the elbows into the ground, Bring your chest up, and then back down. Here we go, 10 reps. Two, be really careful here in your neck. Make sure it's relaxed. Keeping the chest nice and proud. Don't worry about getting too high. Just squeeze those shoulders back as you press up, and down with control. Three more here. And last one. All right, go ahead and shake out those arms. Again, you'll feel a little stretch in the front of the chest from that to open that area up. Going back in that single leg hip bridge, the left leg up, right foot is flat, relax your head and shoulders down. Hip bridge up, you hold for 20, 19, 18. Ten seconds. Hips up tall, right glute is nice and tight. Hips are nice and even. Five, four, three, two. Bring the hips down and hip bridge up for reps. Here we go, 10 reps. One, two, three. Really drive those hips up high. Over squeeze the glutes. I'm gonna hit one more here. All right, going to that other side. So I've got left foot down, we got right knee up. Kind of pull that right knee just a little bit into your chest. From here, push the left heel into the ground, extend those hips up, squeeze that left glute, holding for 20 seconds. You know the drill by now. So keeping those hips even, keeping them nice and high, shoulders and head are relaxed, really pushing that left side up into hip extension. 10 seconds. Keep pushing your foot into the ground. Create a lot of force. Four, three, two, and down. Hip bridge up. Here we go. Ten reps. One, two, three, four. High as you can. Five. Without throwing your back into it. Seven, eight. We got two more. And last one. All right, shake that out. We're gonna change up that scapula wing exercise and flip over onto the front side. We're gonna hit the same muscle groups, just a different movement here. This one, we're gonna go into our flying T position. So we're gonna lay on the ground on our stomach. You're gonna bring your arms out into a T position. From here, tuck your chin, squeeze your legs so you're grounded, and then lift your chest and shoulders up off the ground as high as you can. From here, continue to push your arms away from the body and push the wrists or the back of the hand up to the sky, holding for 20 seconds. So legs are nice and tight, core tight, get the chest up, chin tucked, and keep pushing your arms backwards. Go ahead and find a big range of motion here, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Seven, six, five, Four, three, now we go into repetitions by just bringing the hands down, chest down, and right back up for 10 reps. Up, hold, down with control. Get those arms up as high as you can. So really pushing the back of the palm up to the sky, feeling the upper back start to work. Big deep breath in these flying T's. Inhaling down, big exhale up. Let's go five more, here we go. One. Two, three, four, and last one, five. Awesome, you should really feel that in the rhomboids, a little bit of your rear deltoids behind the shoulders there. 
Also a little in the lower back through that back extension. We're going to go into our next circuit here, which is our core circuit. Starting with our hollow body hold. We also call this our V-up hold. So we have the arms in an overhead position. Wide position. We bring the chest up. Now, if this is difficult enough, you can hold this with your feet on the ground and even tuck your hands behind your head. Otherwise, we extend the legs out, squeezing the quads, squeezing the heels together, holding for 20 seconds. Go ahead and start with me. So relax your neck, reach your arms away from your body, push your toes away from your body, squeeze your kneecaps, squeeze those heels together, five, four, three, two, and down. We're gonna rest about 10 seconds, and then we're going into the V-up rock. For this, we're gonna try 10 to 20 repetitions. Each time we rock, that's one. So go ahead and watch me. Every time I come forward, one, Back, two, three, four. Go ahead and begin. One, two, three, four. So chest up tall, legs are together, core nice and tight. Should not feel this in your lower back. Should feel this coming right through your abs. Let's go for eight more. Here we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That should be a great burn through your core there. We're going to turn on the side and go through our obliques and our side plank, holding the isometric contraction for 20 seconds. So in this case, I'm on my right side. I'm gonna pull my right arm all the way underneath me, making a nice tight fist. From here, we're gonna push those hips up, and we're gonna hold for 20. Go ahead and begin. So make sure your top shoulder is back, hips are up and forward, squeezing those glutes into extension, and we've got that neck nice and long. Chin tucked back. 10 seconds left. Keep pushing those hips up and forward. And pretend to crunch your elbow down to your toes. You're going to feel oblique. Give a nice little flex there. Four, three, two. Now I've got to bring your hips down. For repetitions, we're going to bring the hips up, hold, and then down with control. Ready? Here we go. Up, hold. That's one, two. Be careful how this is feeling on your shoulder. If it's very problematic, you can take that top foot over the top and use that for a little assistance. Otherwise, that was four. Here we go, up five, down, up six, seven, feeling that oblique work, eight, two more, nine, last one. All right, let's flip over on the other side of the body. So now I'm on my left side. I've got that left fist tucked underneath. Your feet can be stacked. Or they could be one in front of the other. Whatever's more comfortable there for you. Go ahead, bring those hips up. And hold 20 seconds. Keep the toes flexed toward the face. Hips up and forward. Neck nice and long. Right shoulder back. 10 more seconds. Big deep breaths. Four. Three. Two. Bring those hips down. And right back up, one. Just hold for a second at the top, two. Hips up and forward, squeezing the glutes, three, four, five. Make sure you got a lot of surface area of that forearm on the ground, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one here. Woo! Going right back to the V-up hold and that V-up rock. Take a couple deep breaths as you reset. Now if that V-up hold and V-up rock are really difficult for you, maybe you've got some tightness around the hips, you feel some clicking, just go into a regular plank and hold that for the entirety of our V-up hold and our V-up rock. All right, so we're on the ground, going into our V-up hold position. So arms are in the overhead position, that Y. Bring your chest up nice and tall. And then extend your legs out, pointing your toes, squeezing your quads nice and tight. Holding for 20 seconds with me. You've got 10 seconds left. Here we go, five, four, three, two. Now we are gonna let that rest for 10 seconds. Going right back into that rock. 
Otherwise, just holding a regular plank. Ready? Chest up. Do a sit up. Extend those legs out. And let's rock at least 20 times. One. Two. Six. Legs nice and long. Arms nice and long. Here we go. Halfway. One more. Very nice. I got a nice little burn in there. All right, let's go right to that side plank on the right side again. Tuck that right arm underneath. Both feet are either stacked or one in front of the other. Or you could even put this top leg over to help as well. Let's go up. Here we go. 20 seconds. And hold. Again, flexing the feet toward the face. Pushing those hips up and forward. Keeping the top shoulder back. 10, 9. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Great isometric hold. Bring that down and we go back up for reps. Ten reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let it burn. Woo! Other side. So we've got left arm down again. Get as much of the forearm down as you can. You want all that surface area to work with. Press the fist into the ground. Legs nice and long. Pull those hips up. And hold 20 seconds from here. Top shoulder back. Hips up and forward. Belly button in. And again, pretend to like pull your elbow down toward your toes. And pretend to almost pull your toes toward your hand and elbow. You're going to feel that contraction in the obliques on the bottom side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, bring those hips down, and right back up. One, going for 10, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10, all right. Shake that out. We're going to get into our final finisher. So we're going to go ahead and stand up. We're just going to be doing one set of this for the legs. We're going to go into the bottom of a squat, holding for 20 seconds. From there, you're either going to go into squat for reps or follow me through jump squats. Let me show you both. So the isometric hold that we'll do is the bottom of your squat, holding for 20 seconds. From there, you're either going to squat with me for 10 to 20 reps, or go into small squat jumps for 10 to 20 reps. You can also mix it up. This is our finisher. Let's work hard. Here we go. 20 second hold, bottom of your squat. So knees are out, pushing the hips back into the heels, keeping your back arch. You can put your arms out as counterweight. 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now either begin to jump or squat. Here we go. This is three, you're going for 10 to 20 reps. Big deep breaths. Let's work it, let's burn it out. Last thing we do here today before we stretch. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, get it, three, Two, nice burn. All right, shake that out. Big deep breaths, and we'll start our stretches. All right, so for your stretch, we're gonna step out into that big Spider-Man lunge. So step your left leg up, put your, your hands down on the ground, inside of that left heel, and then untuck your right toe as you drop your hips down and forward. From here, arch your lower back as you sink into this stretch. Kind of squeezing the right glute, letting that right hip drop down and forward. Now, if this is big enough of a stretch for you, go ahead and stay here. Otherwise, we're going to plant the right arm down. We're going to reach around the left hand to the right foot. From here, we're going to drop the hips down and forward, 
And then we're going to push the left knee out slightly as we continue to drop those hips down and forward. You should feel a great stretch coming through the right quad. All right, we're going to go ahead and switch sides. So we bring the right leg out nice and far in front, extend that left leg back. You know what, I'm going to give you a different angle here. So I've got my right foot out, I've got my left leg back nice and straight. From here I'm dropping my left hip to the ground, arching my back, squeezing that left glute. Now again, if this is big enough of a stretch, just kind of stay here. Otherwise we're going to plant the left arm down, we're going to bring the right arm around. Then we're going to drop the left hip down and forward as we push the right knee and right hip up and out. You should feel a nice stretch coming through that left quad. All right. And from here, we're going to flip right onto your backside. We're going to hit those hamstrings a little bit. So what I want you to do is bend your right foot in on the ground. Take your left foot up and try to grab the bottom of your left foot. If you can, grab on the inside. So you're on the arch of the foot, left hand to left foot on the inside, if you can. From here, try to extend that leg straight up. So we've got that left leg as straight as we can get it, feeling that nice hamstring stretch. Just breathing and relaxing in this position, pretending to push the knee on the left side away from your body. So kind of pushing it in front of you and away from your body. Feeling that nice big hamstring stretch. Five more seconds. Big deep breaths. Lengthen that leg as long as you can. Three, two, go ahead, bring that left foot down. And then from here, bring your right leg up. Take your right arm, grab on the inside if you can. And then from here, extend your right leg up straight. So that right knee is as straight as we can get it, pushing kind of the back of the knee away from the body. Once you feel that stretch, start to pull those toes toward your face on the right side. Keep pushing that knee away from you as you breathe. Long inhale, big exhale, and just let it release. All right, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's isometric routine, trying to strengthen the weakest points of some of our movement patterns. If you need more to go, head over to my Facebook page or my YouTube channel, Metamorphic Methods. Have a great day.